All right, so uh, we're back at it, and today we'll be we will be learning about x squared. What is x squared? And we'll also be learning about uh, x squared. We're gonna be learning about uh, three squared. We're gonna be learning about four squared. We're gonna be learning about uh, negative four squared. And we're going to be learning about negative 4 squared. Alright, so uh, very different. These two are different, and we'll, we'll get into that shortly. But first, let's talk about x squared. So what does it mean when it has a little 2 there? Well, this is the base. It means you multiply. You, you basically, this is the number being multiplied, and this is the number of times it's multiplied. So it would be x times x. Now if it was like x cubed, which we discuss in this video, we uh, we discuss uh, that it's x times x times x. And it's a little bit different in this case for some of these things down here. So take a look at that. And so yeah, uh, let's move on to this one. So 3 to the power of 2. 3 squared. It's the same, it's the same way of saying it. You can say it 3 to the power of 2, 3 squared. x to the power of 2, x squared. Uh, 4 to the power of 2, 4 squared. 4 to the 2, 3 to the 2, x to the 2, it doesn't matter. It's, it's just as long as it's one of those three and you say it right, people will understand you. So 3 to the power of 2 is 3 times 3. Or it could also be written as 3 times 3. Or it could also be written as 3. Oh, oh, oops, smudges. Smudges. Okay. Alright, so 3 times 3 equals uh, 107. Equals 107. So that's, that's what 3 times 3 equals. Uh, 4 squared, let's write the 2 better. 4 squared equals uh, 4 times 4. Let's put a parentheses around this one. And that one equals. Uh, what does it equal? Uh, I don't know. It equals three. All right, sweet. So that's what it equals. Uh, so negative four squared. Okay, so we got to remember this one rule: is that parentheses come before anything else. You must always remember the parentheses. So. Remember, I, I think I spelled that right. Uh, parentheses. Okay, sweet. So remember parentheses. So always do them first. First. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> what we have to do now is we have to basically say that 4 times 4, and it's basically the same thing because like if it's a parentheses around a single number it's all, it, it, it's basically the same thing as like if we remove the parentheses so we basically do this we could do this it's the same thing, we could even put parentheses around here doesn't matter, but, we're, but for the sake of convenience we're going to put these because these are invisible parentheses around here we know that this negative sign sticks outside. So just know that sometimes they can be invisible and sometimes they're not there. But for the sake of instruction, we're just going to put them here for right now. And so basically, we've got uh, 4 to the power of 2. That is the same thing as this one, actually. So it's just, well, 4 times 4 or 3. And then we just put a negative sign out in front of it. So yeah. And now we have negative 4 times itself twice. And I believe that basically that like neg negative number times a negative number is a positive number. So therefore, since it's being multiplied, being multiplied by itself twice, it's a positive number. So that means that it's going to be 
positive 3. And there we have it. We have the answers to all our questions. Well, actually, only like 2% of them. But, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. To answer some more of these questions that we had, we, I have videos not only about x to the 3, but I also have videos about uh, x to the 1, x to the 0. What, what, what is x to the 0? I'll find out. Uh, x to the negative 1 x to the negative 2, and x to the negative 3. So take a look at those. Really cool stuff. Alright, peace. Goodbye.